Welcome to Backyard Biology, nature activities from my backyard and beyond. Plants use a number of colored chemicals, pigments, in the process of photosynthesis to produce their food. The best known of these is chlorophyll, which give the leaves their green color. But other pigments are present as well, and may be revealed in the fall when the chlorophyll disappears. In this activity, we will see which pigments are present in the leaf through a process called paper chromatography. The first step is to collect the leaves. You can do this any time of the year. In fact, it might be interesting to test the leaves of one type of plant throughout the year. For this activity, I am collecting leaves from three red maple trees, one with all green leaves, one with leaves that are a mix of red and green, and one with predominantly red leaves. Next, we cut the leaves into very small pieces. The smaller the better. Then we place them in a container and grind them with a pestle in order to release the pigments from the cells. We add a little bit of rubbing alcohol, just enough to cover the leaves. Then we place our containers in a pan and pour in hot water and let it sit for about 15 or 20 minutes. When we take our samples out of the hot water, we notice that the pigments have colored the alcohol. The green pigments colored the alcohol green, and the red pigments have colored the alcohol red. To conduct the chromatography activity, I cut a strip of paper towel and suspend it so just the very end of the paper towel is in the alcohol. Through capillary action, the alcohol will travel up the paper towel, carrying the pigments with it. However, as the pigments are being pulled along with the alcohol, they are also adhering to the paper towel, slowing them down. Since the different pigments will travel at different speeds, they will spread out, producing colored bands on the paper towel that allow us to see which pigments are present in the leaf. In this close-up, we can see that the pigments have started to migrate up the paper towel. By letting the chromatography activity run overnight, the pigments have moved far enough along the paper towel for distinct colored bands to appear. So now, let's take a look at the results. Here are our three leaf samples. The green leaves on the right, the red and green leaves in the middle, and the red one on the left. And here are the three chromatography strips from our three samples. The strip on the right from the all green leaf shows a band of green pigment, chlorophyll and a faint strip of yellow above it, xanthophyll. The strip in the middle shows the green and the yellow band, but a red band has also appeared. This red band is the anthocyanin pigment. And finally, the all red leaf on the left shows that the chlorophyll has completely disappeared, leaving behind the band of yellow and red. This activity shows that in the maple leaf, the chlorophyll and xanthophyll are present during the summer when the leaf is green but the anthocyanin is not produced until the fall.
For more nature activities from my backyard and beyond, as well as nature stories, check out the Backyard Biology website, www.backyardbiology.net.